Well, hey folks, Fat Guy Flies RC coming to you from the Avon Parker or Mollus Club. We're out in the field. We're going to take up the Arrows Husky Ultimate. Now, I know here, in, what's that, November 13th now? Um, right, I checked the other day and she's still out of stock, but there's very popular planes. So keep an eye on the Hobby Zone website. They stock as often as, as you know, as they get sent them. So um, they do their best. They can only get so many they sold and they got to wait for more, but they do restock often. So keep an eye. Um, but if you can get, if you can get a hold of one of these, get a hold of one. They are a great flying plane. Running her on a 3300 6S Liperior. A little windy today, so right, left, up, down, right, left. My rates are 100% throws over 30% expo. Motor is on. Let me get back here so I don't have to try to walk backwards while I'm looking at the plane and trip over a plane. All right, left, up, down, right, left. Definitely do not need flaps today. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, she's fine. I was, I was afraid I kind of moved that battery back a little bit to make clearance for the radio hatch. And I thought, well, maybe she might be a little tail heavy, but nah, she's flying just fine. It's really windy. It's about 15 to 20 mile an hour gust out of the northeast. And right now I'm flying into the northeast. So if at all possible, take off into the wind and land into the wind. All right. Bring her back here. Knife edge here. Yeah, she does really well. Now she'll fly on a 4S, a big 4S, like a 4,000 to 5,000. However, you're not going to have the throttle response and the prop is to me a little too small for a 4S, so she's not going to, she's not going to be very fast for you. But on a 6S, which is what she's really designed for, man, she's got plenty of power, plenty of uh, response definitely got the power to get you out of trouble and remember power equals uh safety in the airplanes because that'll get you out of trouble quick rudder's very responsive there that's rudder you can see so definitely likes her rudder let's actually land this bad boy wind is a booger bear though I'm flying her in the dynamic mode in the vector stabilization, the vector with the dynamic mode, which is wind mitigation. Same thing as AS3X in the spectrum world or optimize in the reflex world. Reflex being your uh, FMS uh, gyro. Let the tail come up and then lift up. Pull back on the elevator a little bit. Time remaining, three minutes. All right. Good looking plane. Good looking plane. Wind is starting to change directions on me. Coming more out of the southeast now. That's okay. Actually, I mean coming out more towards east. Walk the dog a little bit. Woo, wind. Take her up. There we go. Love the colors on that plane. Now the red and black in the 4S version, I thought, boy, that's a good looking plane, but this orange and black, orange, white, and black, man, it's, it's just really looks good. Real, let's bring it by real close to us. Low and slow. Yeah, there you go. Just turn around and do that again. I like the way that plane looks. Good looking plane. Do that again, but we're going to come by even lower. Low and 
slow. All right, that's the way we like to roll. Low and slow. All right, let's land this plane. Maybe even walk the dog a little bit. That'd be good. And just so you know, if you're watching my videos, not all of my videos, but most of my videos, I will do a shorts, a YouTube short of the video. And just think of that. Whoa, whoa, hey. Think of my shorts as a trailer to the full video. I even had one viewer tell me, he said, show the whole video, don't sell yourself short. He said, see what I did there? I'm like, yeah, that's, that's funny. I said, but every short that I put on my site, the full video to it is actually on the channel also. So don't just watch just the shorts. All right. All right let me get back here. Cause if I take off now, I gotta keep my eye on the plane and have to walk backwards and i've done that before and tripped and fell but i didn't crash the plane <laughs> i was able to maintain a bit through my lip but walk the dog a little bit just a little bit what a good looking plane yeah like i say you can fly around for us but it's like dragging your feet in the sand her, she performed so much better on 6S, like the way she was designed. Yeah, there will crab on over by us, then we'll peel away. Uh, take her up. And she fell out of that roll. The uh, Durafly Tundra will do the exact same thing. You, you try to flip her too tight and she'll pull right out of that roll. But that happens with these, square, these squared off wings. You can, sometimes that'll happen. Just make sure you're up high. Remember altitude is safety. Altitude is your friend. Altitude gives you time to think. However, don't get up so high that you can't tell what the plane is doing. If you're flying so high that you can't tell what the plane is doing, then you're too freaking high <laughs> and too far away. Man, look at that plane. Good looking plane. Locked in, even in this wind, she's so stable. All right, we got 20 seconds, so we're gonna have to land her now call it into this flight about a uh, 3,000 to a 4,000 6s Five. is what you're going to fly in her Three. all right final approach all right maybe 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 all right, there you go. Pilot didn't even spill his beer. All right. Do I dare? Nope. I don't even want to try to go against that wind. I turn against that wind, that wing is going to flip over on me. All right. Okay, two seconds left on a four and a half minute timer. Okay, so basically four and a half minutes. Prop is secured. Okay, this little black thing here, antenna, this is not an antenna, that is the tape mod because this battery hatch, it fits so tight and when you pull this hat, the latch back, it doesn't move, okay? So you'd have to dig at that with your fingernails to get that off. So I put that battery hatch on there, or that, that mod there, see? 
And that way, that, and I can just grab that. And I don't have to dig at that with my fingernails because that water-based paint will come off. Now, to show you, this is where I have the 3300 6S Liperior. I can fit my finger right in there. Uh, right, right there, that's where I've got it. And she CG's just fine there. CG on the plane. See these plastic doublers here? And you put your about a, a finger pad length back. Them two little black marks there. That's where I, that's where I, I, that's where you put your fingers at for your CG. I know the hatch is off, but I just put it on my fingers right behind that plastic doubler, and she CG's just fine. Back up in there, I have the A. Okay. All right. Um, back there is the AR620. Back up in there, and then off to the the left is the. Uh, vector stabilization system that comes standard with this plane wooden prop comes with it um don't remember the size but i do have an unboxing and build video so you can you can tell you what the size is in that um, that's a 3300 liperior with a 40c discharge 6s and let's see just how much juice is left in the tank after a four and a half minute flight the uh, plane comes with an xt60 connector so keep that in mind not it's actually a, and finding an xt60 and a 6s is a little on the unusual side so you will need to invest in an adapter let me find my battery checker it's in one of these two pockets Sixty two percent. Come on. Six and a half minutes easy with mixed flying. Five and a half minutes if you hit her hard a lot. So I flew her for four and a half, very conservative, and the battery's at sixty two percent. So very economical plane. Now, like I said, the plane will be back in stock soon. I hope, I hope. That's what I've been told. So hopefully it will. Um I'll put a link anyways in the description of the video. In that link, it'll take you to the uh, Hobby Zone website. Go to find the plane in the arrow section. If it's there, if it's in stock, put it in your basket and put in the code if you want to buy it. The code all caps FGFRC. That code again, FGFRC, and that'll take $10 off the price. I mean, yeah, I know she's a what, $360 plane, but hey, 10 bucks is 10 bucks. You get a great plane, you save a little bit of money. And yes, I am an affiliate. Um, I, I can't say anything bad about the plane. I wish the wheels weren't quite so hard. Um, and I wish the, the canopy was clear, but hey. <laughs> where, where that may be in the negatives, the way she performs and how stable she is, great plane, great plane. Thank you for walk, watching, folks. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget, faith, family, and friends, and then beautiful arrows, huskies. Goodbye.